Now, the donation mafia has spread its tentacles across the twin cities of Hubli Darwad. Education has become costlier, forcing financially backward students to give up on their aspirations of continuing their studies after SSLC. Darwad is known to be the Kashi of education, but not anymore. Educational institutions have turned commercial. They have resorted to minting money by accepting exorbitant donations. Parents and students allege that colleges literally robbed them. The situation in Hubli is no different. Take a look at some startling statistics. The JSS College collects 50,000 rupees for a PU seat. Tim and Gauda College demands 60,000, while YB Annigeri tops the list with 85,000 rupees as donation. The Hunchin Money College collects 40,000 rupees, and the Best College pockets 75,000 rupees. The situation in Hubli is almost the same. Chetana and Prerna colleges in Hubli collect 60,000 for one seat, while Vidya Niketan demands 58,000 rupees. Nalanda College collects 55,000 rupees, and Vijaya Chetana College demands 53,000 rupees. Chinmaya and Medha colleges have not crossed the 50,000 mark, but collect 48,000 and 38,000 rupees respectively. Vidyarthiya Tandetai Agi, on the Vidyarthi Agi, or Vidyarthi Manobava Enu, Vidyarthi Parasthi Enu, until Gamnis Bitu. आदर फीस अन्ना डोनेशन ना कड़मी मार बेकु और डोनेशन तुगोंड रू आदर कड़मी तुगो बेकु आदर ना बाय रिसिप्ट मुकान तरा बैंक के आदर ना सबमिट मारो खंतों द व्यवस्थे मार बे अंदरे डोनेशन तुगो लंदर तो बार दो और विद्यार्थी वे परवाह नहीं तो विचार मार बे के अंदरे और विद्यार्थी जीवन these colleges are aware of that fact. Students are not supposed to disclose the sum they have paid as donation. If anybody is found doing so, he would be sent out of the college. Student organizations are helpless against this rampant donation mess. college principal management आदो केली संस्थान आगेर बोधु, चैतना कॉलेज आगेर बोधु, चाऊगला कॉलेज आगेर बोधु, विश्व चैतना कॉलेज आगेर बोधु, इन हलवार कॉलेज गलो आगेर बोधु, साइंस कॉलेज आगेर बोधु, कॉमर्स कॉलेज आगेर बोधु, अल्ली मात्रा डोनेशन कट्टे नाउ कॉलेज नल्ले एडमिशन तो कोबो। The government has no control over private colleges, hence the donation menace is here to stay. But what is the fate of economically backward students? Who will come to their rescue? Prakash Nulvi, News 9, Darwad. Now, Karwar is one of the best places for bird watching, but a few people did the unthinkable to these beautiful creatures. Take a look as to what happened. Karwar is more often than not known for its birds. And it's a sight that cannot be missed. With lush green mountains and greenery everywhere, it's no surprise one can find the rarest of rare species of birds here. Unfortunately, there was a sight that was not so pleasing to the eyes. Take a look at this. It's a sad sight to us as well. What happened to these birds? What led to their death? Local residents say that people dwelling in and around Kadwad Hamlet feed these birds with food laced with poison. The death of these birds included three different species, the Brahmini kite, Crovis crow and grey-headed fish eagle. A few scientists who were present at the spot confirmed to us that the beak of the birds had turned brown, which was an indication of them consuming poisoned food. Ili muru jati hakikalu onde bari sate dawa. Awu hichina sankeli ili pashimagatta da i pradesh dalil dawa. Awu hichge sate dawa. Samarondo hatta nerdo sate do. Namge drushekanu pantu. Kudale nawo onde hichina mai tiga ge i vidya na kendra dor karisi. Awu पशु इतर कार्यक्रमों को सहाय इतना मुट्ठी थी इधर उस विषय प्रश्न देने आगे देने तो ना वंदा इसी दिवे। The Karwar police are now looking into the matter. The bird population is already falling drastically thanks to the felling of trees and the presence of mobile towers. It is time something is done before the bird population falls drastically. Sandeep Sagar, News 9, Karwar. We recently celebrated World Environment Day to raise awareness on glaring environmental issues. Well, the Zilla Panchayat in Koppal has come forward to change this 
with this unique initiative. The Zilla Panchayat in Kopal is all geared up to set an example on environmental awareness by planting 25 lakh samplings. This has come after Environment Day was celebrated last week and also because there have been reports on the reducing forest land in the district. The Zilla Panchayat is now calling it the Green Revolution. Hechina Mara Belasbeku, Matu Totarke, Arni Karnavana, Amkondo, on the Pataidu Laksha, with the Jati as a Sikalana, Namajili in Edbek and Terri Nidarmar Kondo. There are about five nurseries in the district where not hundreds or thousands, but thirteen lakh saplings are housed. From sowing seeds to planting and reporting, workers are kept busy through the day. There are more than 20 different kinds of plants here which are expected to benefit the soil and ecosystem in many ways. The officials are positive about the project and have also stated that by the end of the monsoon, all 25 lakh saplings will be carefully planted and looked after. Hebevu, Shivuni, Shri Ganda, Matu Itre Jati Sasigal Nala, Bala, Belsi Divi, Raitru Idanala, Sadupeoga Pataskul Bekuntana, Vinanti Markultini. The Zilla Panchayat has informed the village panchayats and horticulture department about the manpower and resources needed to make this project successful. It looks like they are enthusiastic and driven to ensure that the project goes off without a hitch. Gopal's reputation of Bisilunadu will soon change with the district panchayat's version of a green revolution. Ashok Kumar, News 9, Gopal. Now, people do a lot of things to achieve peace, but a man in Tamil Nadu has been doing something really unusual in a bid to achieve world peace. Take a look as to what it is. This man on your television screen is Mani Manithan from Tamil Nadu. Just like any other human being, Mani also works, eats, drinks and sleeps. But he does not walk like a normal human being. Mani Manithan walks backwards. Yes, Mani has been walking in reverse for 25 years. It was on June 14, 1989 that he decided to walk reverse in a bid to achieve world peace. On the international level, terrorism has increased. So many blasts are happening. The youth are misguided. To condemn such incidents, I have been walking backwards for 25 years. My only agenda is world peace. After taking the decision, the first time he walked backwards was from his village Agraharam to Chennai completely naked. His unique way of walking reverse has also brought him many accolades. Be it any place, his house, the street or the market, Mani only prefers walking backwards. Interestingly, he is now so used to walking backwards that he has forgotten how to walk forward. Though his unique style of walking has not changed much in our country, he, however, prefers to continue walking backwards for the rest of his life. A News 9 report. Now, Argentina legend Diego Maradona slammed the alleged bribes within FIFA over Qatar's bid for the 2022 World Cup and has asked people behind the controversy to be held accountable. Here's the report. Argentinian legend Diego Maradona has reportedly criticized bribes within FIFA and demanded action against those involved in corruption claims linked to Qatar's World Cup bid. Maradona said that there are huge bribes in the world football governing body and that those behind the bribes must be held accountable, especially with regard to the latest events related to awarding Qatar the 2022 World Cup. Furthermore, he stated that investigations must be held about where the money has gone who received it and why, adding that he had repeatedly denounced in vain cases of bribery within FIFA. 
I hope football would go back to being a fun game away from bribery and corruption. It is unfortunate that there are footballers within FIFA such as UEFA President Michel Platini who have surrendered to such irregularities. Qatar is under growing pressure over its hosting the 2022 World Cup after fresh allegations over the role of disgrace former top football official Mohammed bin Hammam played in its bid. Earlier, a foreign tabloid had reported that it had obtained millions of emails, documents and bank transfers showing that bin Hammam paid over $5 million from slush funds to win support in the bidding process. Platini, on the other hand, has attacked the tabloid for seeking to tarnish his reputation by drawing him into the corruption claims against the Qatar World Cup bid. The Qatar 2022 Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. The choice of Qatar to host the 2022 World Cup shocked many observers due to its searing heat in the summer. And with such serious allegations constantly doing the rounds, Qatar's chance of hosting the prestigious mega event might take a severe beating. Sports Bureau, News 9.